Hello everyone and for today I have a little tutorial how to install or enable glass effect on Windows 10. To do that we have more applications. I will show you three applications and I have Windows 10 custom theme HUD evolution. All links and credits are in the description below of this video. Okay, let's start. First application is System Transparency. This is the application that I use most of other applications. For System Transparency, just double click, and here you will see that application is running. Right click, go to Setup and Info. Here, enter the number of your glass effect. You can check the startup. Click OK. And then here, you need to check these boxes. So, if you want to affect the right click and pop up menus, check the box. If you don't want, just uncheck. It's very simply. Down here, you have more options. Also here you have for Firefox, Chrome and Internet Explorer. If you want to have the glass effect on these browsers, check these boxes. And finally click OK. And like you see here, I have the glass effect on my Windows Explorer. The interesting thing about this application is that that will give you full transparent glass effect. It will affect whole my window like you see. Okay, let's go on next application. Right click, click on exit. And now you need to wait maybe 10-15 seconds before it closed. Okay, now we have black glass. Okay, when you download it, you need to keep this application inside of the folder with this BGA setup. Just run it. Okay, and also here you will have the application. Right click and go to options. Here, probably you will get this empty but to affect the explorer on windows you need to type explorer.exe for another process you can type cmd.exe and the black glass will affect the cmd when you open it with so when you open the cmd it will affect it with glass effect okay you can do that with other process here but for me I'm only using the explorer.exe startup click enable click OK click save and now if you can see my window explorer is affected with glass effect but you can see the difference between this application and the previous application this application the black glass will affect only this box here it will not affect whole window like you see and since i have installed aero glass on my windows 10 i have this effect on my window so whole my window will be affected like aero glass Okay, also just close the application and you will no longer have the glass effect. And the last application is Glass 2K, 2K, excuse me, Glass 2K. Uh, this application is not working for me and I don't know why, but for other users of Windows 10, 
System transparency is not working, but glass 2K is working. For me, system transparency, black glass is working, but glass 2K it's not working, but just double click on application. Here you have the glass 2K running. Right click, go to settings. Here you have auto load glass 2K every time window startup. You can auto remember every windows transparency settings. And here you have transparency pop out with this shortcut. Right click and then choose one of these. So if you want to pop up the options, right click plus alt and keyboard shortcuts of this application will be, let's say, the number from 0 to 9 plus alt plus control button. Here you have taskbar transparency options. You can see how much taskbar will be transparent. Click save. Now if I hold right click and if I press alt on my keyboard, you can see you can see that the option for glass UK will pop up. But this is not working for me and I don't know why. You can see but I don't know maybe for you will work so I just show you these you can see how much bugs I have on my desktop with this application but never mind uh, you have three applications for glass effect and one of these must work on Windows 10 for Windows 7 it was much easier to customize, to install more application that will make your windows a little bit funny and cool for customization. But for Windows 10 it's a little bit complicated. And like you see, the three applications I have for Glass Effect and one it's not working. So it's up to you which application you will use. Okay, that's it for this tutorial. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye.